welcome back to the channel i hope everyone is doing well today so in today's lesson we're going to see together how we can create this nice feature actually it is a picker okay and i'm going to show you how we can create a picker in swift ui it's very simple so let's get started uh, fire up your xcode okay create a new xcode project okay Here you are going to create a single view app, naming it Picker Demo EN, okay? Then save it on your Mac. So you have to know that a picker in Swift UI is a piece of UI that includes one or multiple lists displayed as wheel, okay? As you can see here, okay? The user can use this wheel for selecting a specific value. Pickers are often found within iOS apps. So here is how to create a picker in Swift UI, okay? So first of all, we're going to create a state value for keeping track of the current selection, okay? Okay. So here, state var selection it is equal to zero okay then we're going to create the data set for our picker in our example it's an array holding the days of a week create an array for holding the pickers content so here we go, let days is equal to an array, okay? So the first one is... Then we're going to create the picker, okay? With binding it to the state and providing it with a suitable label, okay? And if you don't want a label, just insert a text with an empty string, okay? So here, create the picker okay by bind, binding it to the state and and providing it with a label okay so here we're going to write picker this one okay then selection here dollar selection here uh, text my picker for instance okay and and then here press enter okay and now the last step inside the picker implement a for each loop that cycles through every object of our data set okay you can then use the loops closure for creating one text object for every object of the data set and assigning with an index. Swift UI then knows which index every object should have and updates the state depending on the current selection. Okay, we can then use the state's value for example, as we do with a text displaying the selected uh, day. Okay, so here, create on on row for every no create a row for every string in our array and assigning it to an index okay so here for each data days count okay here index in and here you can write text uh, self days index okay dot tag okay here index 
cool. A text object in order to display uh, the current value of our picker. So as we are going to have two object, we have to put them in a stack. Okay, so here we're going to use a V stack. Okay, and now we can add a text object. Okay, and write selected uh, day. And inside the parentheses, you can write days selection just like that. Okay. And also give it a padding. This one. So here, bottom. And here, 70. And we are done. Okay. So we can launch our simulator and see if everything works perfectly. So this is our picker and as you can see when I change the value okay here the value is uh, updated cool so that's all for today's lesson I hope you enjoyed it and um, see you in the next lesson guys bye bye